One of the most seductive cosmic phenomena is a potential supernova, Betelgeuse. Situated in the well-known shoulder of the Orion constellation, Betelgeuse is a crimson supergiant close to the end of its life cycle. One of the most surprising events in 2019, luminous stars in the heavens began to dim, even to the naked eye. Able to the unblinking eye, however, for several months, its radiance diminished to such an extent that a number of viewers guessed whether the star was perishing. Aiming their telescopes at the massive star, researchers were amazed by proof of the significant dimming. Betelgeuse, according to theories, is on the verge of erupting into a supernova that signifies the end of its stellar existence. But when and why will this cosmic explosion occur? Could it have devastating effects on our planet? The radiant scarlet star Betelgeuse is positioned on the upper right shoulder of Orion, the hunter. You might know it by its alternate title. Even though it is the second, Alpha Orionis, brightest star in that constellation, following the supergiant. Rigel, it continues to intrigue scientists due to its erratic behavior and distinctive features. Alpha stars usually go by the moniker brightest within their constellations, and although Rigel surpasses it in brightness, Betelgeuse draws attention due to its massive size and reddish hue. Betelgeuse, also referred to as Alpha Orionis, is one of the most well-known stars in the night sky, being the tenth most brilliant and the seventh most well-known for Canada and much of North America. Europe, Arabic, is the source of its name and signifies the armpit of the giant, referencing its spot in the star Betelgeuse's grouping. Betelgeuse sheds approximately one solar mass every 10,000 years, releasing substances uniformly in all directions and generating a nebula surrounding it. This nebula spans 30 astronomical units, or 30 times the stretch between Earth and the Sun, and is 250 times more massive than the star itself. Betelgeuse's hydrogen nuclei at its core merge under immense gravitational pressure, creating helium and emitting radiation and warmth in the act. As the star depletes its hydrogen, it starts fusing helium and carbon as substitutes. When helium runs out, Neon combines with carbon to yield iron. The merging of iron fails to produce energy, leading the star to give in to its own weight and eventually explode into a supernova, the universe's most forceful explosions. Depending on age and developmental phase, stars emit illumination in varied wavelengths, from the vivid blue of young stars to the red of older stars. Based on the ancient stargazer Ptolemy, Betelgeuse exhibited a hue he intriguingly labeled as ruddy. However, ancient Chinese astronomers remarked that Betelgeuse looked yellow, hinting that it may once have been a yellow supergiant. Numerous rapidly expanding stars burn through their hydrogen, leading to an early demise, even if their existence spans just 10 million years, and there is no question that Betelgeuse is in its concluding phase. While our sun still possesses more than 5 billion years of life, Betelgeuse is approaching its final moments suggesting that it might one day erupt in a supernova. However, the precise schedule of this occurrence is still unknown. Betelgeuse experiences two cycles of increasing and decreasing brightness, happening every five years and persisting for around 100 days. It's assumed that the swelling and shrinking of its outer layers during these rhythms prompt changes in its diameter and the typical temperature at the surface. Popularity in Betelgeuse grew during its unpredictable conduct in 2019 and 2020, when its light faded dramatically before recovering. Briefly, certain scientists have hypothesized that this baffling activity may indicate that the star is nearing its final transformation. Comprehensive analysis of Betelgeuse dates back to the first century BC, yet the origin of its dimming remains a complete mystery. Betelgeuse is spotted moving through the interstellar environment at about 30 km s. After being thrown from its birthplace in the Orion OB-1 group, which houses the stars of Orion's belt, the resulting bow shock extends beyond four light years. Measuring the proximity of red supergiant stars like Betelgeuse is an infamously difficult job in astrophysics, as various elements hinder precise estimations of diameter. Additionally, because it is a pulsating star, Betelgeuse's size varies over time. This characteristic, alongside the dimming of its visible glow, 
is caused by its outer edge to shift in color and diminish as we observe it. Consider it from a deeper perspective. Additionally, the material shell of the star's expulsion plays a crucial role in addition to light absorption and emission, affecting how we interpret its brilliance. Directly opposing perspectives of Betelgeuse is difficult because its wavelength influences the visible size observed. These measurements are subject to variation by up to 35% based on the light spectrum used. In the month of July 2009, the European Southern Observatory released visuals taken with a very large telescope, VLT interferometer, at its ground-based observatory, revealing a massive plume of gas stretching up to 30 astronomical units from the star's surface, one of many mass expulsions seen from Betelgeuse. This outflow matched the angular distance between the Sun and Neptune. At least six such events have been discovered in the vicinity of Betelgeuse. These occurrences might reveal clues to the issue of mass ejection in the final periods of enormous stars, which might be fundamental to their destruction. The complicated processes within the extended upper layers of Betelgeuse remain baffling, as does the specific procedure by which red supergiants cast off their matter. Such stars are fundamental to the movement of substances within galaxies, and due to progress in astronomers who study interferometry, they are approaching solutions to these riddles. In 2019, scientists employing the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories discovered that Betelgeuse had descended from a significant portion of its shell, resulting in a significant surface mass expulsion, SME. Despite the Sun's creation, Betelgeuse's mass ejections from the star's events were thousands of times more extreme, with this one flinging out material 400 billion times the mass of a typical solar eruption. This accounts for why Betelgeuse saw a sharp decline in brightness in October 2019. By mid-February 2020, it had lost nearly three times its brightness, shifting from magnitude 0.5 to 1.7. By February 17, 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness had stayed largely constant for more than a week. On the 5th, it looked like the dimming had stopped completely, but the most recent reductions in visible light weren't connected to a possible collapse of the core, as no notable changes in infrared radiation were registered on February 24th. Twee 20. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments area. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to avoid missing future content like this. When Betelgeuse eventually explodes as a supernova, it will be one of the most significant cosmic events ever documented. Even at a distance of 640 light years, the blast will be so radiant that it could outshine the full moon and even be seen during daylight for several weeks or even months. Experts estimate that the supernova will discharge more energy in less time than the sun, will produce over its entire 10 billion year lifespan. The illumination from the explosion will speed through space and eventually reach Earth as a brilliant pinpoint of light unlike anything we've witnessed before. But rest assured, we are entirely safe. Although a supernova that near may sound threatening, Betelgeuse remains distant enough that the detonation will not harm Earth's living things or the biosphere. What it will do is present a remarkable scientific opportunity. In recent years, Betelgeuse has returned to typical levels of brightness, but its irregular dimming patterns are still under intense observation. Scientists are leveraging tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, the Hubble Space Telescope, and land-based interferometers such as ALMA and the VLT, which are tracking patterns in surface light fluctuations, convective activity, and continual mass outflows that appear to reflect the star's instability. One well-supported idea is that Betelgeuse's notable decline was caused by a huge cloud of starborn dust created during one such eruption that temporarily obscured the star's light from our viewpoint. Grasping the mechanisms behind Betelgeuse could assist astronomers in decoding the life phases of gigantic stars, particularly those close to undergoing a supernova. Such insights could help forecast similar phenomena in other galaxies, explain how chemical elements enrich the cosmos, and detail the formation and scattering of elements like iron and gold throughout space. Betelgeuse is effectively a ticking, cosmic timepiece, and it's winding down slowly. It may explode tomorrow, in a year, or 100,000 years from now. But whenever it does, it will present awe-inspiring galaxies and an abundance of scientific data unmatched in modern times.